All right, this video is to uh, show you guys how easy it is to create your own recruiting site using the theme, which is uh, packaged with the WP MLM uh, WordPress plugin. And it's, the, it's a very, very easy process. You can create a website that looks uh, very similar to this website, which is my personal recruiting site called theinstantdownline.com. And so let's go ahead and take a look in your back office, uh, assuming that you're in your WordPress uh, back office, and you've already uh, installed uh, BuddyPress and WooCommerce. You need to have WooCommerce installed along with BuddyPress. And so I've already activated uh, WooCommerce. Very easy, you just activate it and then uh, tell it to create the pages. You do not put those pages on your menu or anything like that. And uh, I'll show you why and, and exactly how to set up the uh, theme here in a minute. So we're going to go ahead and go into our Appearance tab, go over to Themes. I've already uploaded the base Caboodle theme, and then we have a custom Caboodle child theme, which is the one that you want to activate. So you install both of them, and then you activate the child theme right here. So this is really easy. You just activate it, and it takes you into the box. First thing you want to do uh, once you get in here is you want to go in and update your framework. So click on Update Framework. And we have the most recent version of the framework. And so now we're updated. So then we go into uh, back to the Caboodle options. And we'll just do a default uh, CSS. There's multiple colors that you can use that are already built in. Uh, just click on Save All Changes. That, that updates everything so that your site gets updated. So let's take a look at the uh, demo site here. I'm going to open this up in a new tab. So here's the demo site. So you notice that it says, oh, is this BP blog page, et cetera. Well, we haven't installed uh, a couple more things that we need to install. So we back up. We go over to our plugins. Click on Installed Plugins. And we need to activate uh, BuddyPress. So we go ahead and activate that because the theme works with BuddyPress. So it has to be activated. So now it's activated. And we can go back to the front page. We'll just refresh it here. And it gets everything, you know, set up. So now this is a uh, you know, fairly uh, vanilla at this point. Uh, you notice it's already created a menu. You're going to want to create your own menu system so that um, you can have uh, a, a different structure here. And so what we do is we've got, uh, got a menu there. So to create menus, you go into Appearance and then go into Menus. And let's see what we have here. So we have a, a custom menu in here already. It's got community, the activity, members, groups, and forums. If you want to add additional pages, very easy to do. Just come down here and look at your pages. Now you notice here there's some things that say, you know, my account, change password, view order. Those are all related to the WooCommerce um, plugin that's in there. What this will allow you to do is if you want to sell products on your website, you can do that. Now, that's uh, that, There's plenty of documentation on WooThemes.com about the uh, WooCommerce plugin. Very easy to get all the information on that, so I am not going to go over that. They have a, a very extensive library of videos and everything about how to use the system. Um, but for our purposes, what we're looking at right now is how to create a recruiting site for your network marketing or affiliate opportunities. So let's say you wanted to create a new menu item and you wanted to call it Home. Just type in Home. This would be to create a custom uh, custom link, and in this case, this is on um, one of my demo websites, so we'll just put that in there, and we say add to menu. So now we've got a home page. I drag it up here to the top, click on save, and now our menu, when we refresh the page, now it has a home link, so people can click on that. You can add whatever pages you want up here using that same process. So now what you have is you have the ability to add links into your sidebar and everything. So let's go under uh, Widgets, which is under Appearance. So you go to Widgets. And there's a, a ton of widgets here. And so what we're looking for is we want to uh, use the, uh, the BuddyPress widgets. And it looks like, um, looks like we don't have any of the BuddyPress things set up. So what we want to do is go in here, go into Settings. And take a look at everything. So we've got, uh, let's take a look at components. Make sure we have everything set up. Yep, we've got all that. Okay, pages. 
and we've got all the all the, uh, the pages that are already set up right now and so we are good to go on that you look at forums and you can set up your forums back here as well so you go in here and let's say you want to uh, have forums for your um, for your users just click on install group forums and you're now done with the process. It's very, very, very simple. So now, the next thing is, um, one of the things about BuddyPress is it allows you to have profile fields, and you can set fields that are required. Anything under the base field group here, and you can change the name of that, is required on the registration form. So when they register on the website to become a member, those fields are, are made in there. So you can put anything you need in there for the uh, opportunity that you're building, uh, if you want some specific information, or, you know, what I would do is leave your sign-up form as simple as possible and then create additional groups. So you, you want to create a new, um, so you want to add, add additional groups down in there so that people can um, add to their profile in their user account. So maybe you would have something like, you know, personal, you know, details here. So you put that in there and then you can, under the personal details tab, you can add additional information like um, maybe you want to have uh, their position in the company. Put that in there. You can put a description. You can say it is required or not required. Um, you can do a text box. You can do a drop down select box. So now you can tell them you know exactly what their positions are. Um, so. And you can make one default if you want. You can add another option, call them a uh, director, let's say. And then you click save, and then that'll give you the different options. So you can put whatever you want back here, and that'll go into their, um, their back office. So if we look up here, and there we go, we've got our, got our office here. Now what we need to do is set up some, some traffic or some uh, sections in the uh, back office. So let's go back over to widgets. And so now we can look and see here, we've got members as a widget, so we can put that up here. This will give the most active members. You can say, hey, I wanna have you know 25 members show. You save that. You have other options. You have any widget that you want that you can use on, on the system. You can put the who's online and it'll put a their avatar up and you can choose how many you wanna show there. You can put ads in, you can put uh, text, which will allow you to put uh, art, you know, HTML programming and stuff in there. Maybe you want to put some Google ads or something like that. That would be what you would use. Make it really simple and easy. Um, you can uh, put in uh, recently active members. That's one of my favorite ones here. So you put in recently active members. I run mine with 50 on my site right now. And so you do that, and now you go back to the site and it'll show up in your sidebar. So here's our uh, demo admin. Let's go into our account and take a look at it real quick. And you can add your images. You can do all your uploading. You notice here you've got your downline dashboard integrated directly with BuddyPress. And so this allows them to see uh, what is going on with their downline. And they can save their, um, save their information for the uh, opportunity that you're promoting. They can look at their organization. Uh, by the way, all of this information here is going to change here shortly. Uh, we are actually working on a new interface, which will make things a lot easier uh, for you. We've got some uh, demo information in here. We just used uh, usernames um, as, uh, for each position. But they can go through and they can see who is in their group. Looks like we had somebody uh, sign up on the website uh, testing it there, because that's uh, not for me. And anyway, so you can go through and do all that. It's really easy. Uh, also, in our in our upcoming uh, release, uh, we're going to have short codes where you can um, put this information in different places on the website if you want, and uh, just by entering in a short code, make it really, really easy. So you see here, they have their link to sign up with the opportunity. They have their personal referral link to the website for promoting the website to get more traffic to it and to get more signups, and then you can really do anything you want at this point to build your website. I mean, this took you know ten minutes. Um, you know, to get it set up where we're at, you just need to add your content and do all that. So now, 
some of the some of the main settings that you want to that you want to change in your back office under the caboodle uh, options. First thing you want to do is if you want a specific page to be on your home page, you just go in and first you want to create a new page. So I'm going to open that up in a new tab real quick, and we'll create a home page. I'm just going to call it home. Uh, if you want to SEO it better, you would you know name some name it something else, but let's just call it home. And this is our home page. And just uh, use the default template, or you can have a full width template if you want. If you want to make it more like a sales page, you have all all kinds of different options here. And we'll go ahead and publish this right now. And then we will go back to our our theme editor here. And you notice there's some different sections. And the first thing you want to do is go into home page layout. And you scroll down here and you notice here it says content one. There's a couple places. You can actually include two different pages on the home page if you want. I always just use one. Um, I don't make it that complicated, make it really easy. And we just click on save. And now when we go into our website, we will have a, instead of having the blog show up on there, then what we're going to have is we're going to have a, uh, an actual page that says home page. So, um, and I actually uh, put a different page in there. I guess I had already created one. Now, you notice here we've got the blog information in here. I can remove that in here and by disabling the latest blog post because maybe I don't want those on my home page. So now we'll refresh that. There it is, just some text for the home page, blah, blah, blah. And Let's take a look and see what we have. So yeah, so we've got the home page on there, and I, I just duplicated that basically. So all right, so now we've got a home page, and we're ready to go there. And apparently, I uh, got two, two. Then it's going to point back to the regular one because I'd forgotten that I'd already created a home page. So anyway, not a big deal. It shows you exactly how it works. Very easy. Um, now. When you, you have some other options too, you can create a slider that shows up at the top. I'm not going to do that right now, but it'll, it'll have a rotating slider. Um, it actually is the same theme that runs WP MLM as well. I use the same thing for my recruiting site as I do this, and so it creates a slider right here. So you can slide images, you can slide uh, videos, you can do whatever you want up there. It's very, very easy, very versatile for you to uh, build your website. Now, there's some other uh, things to uh, be aware of. Uh, you can have create text titles like this, enable the site description. When you upload a, a logo, you want to go ahead and get rid of the text title. So you can upload a logo real easy right from here. There's all kinds of other features for subscription forms and all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of features in here. I'm not going to go through every single thing because it would take probably an hour to go through everything. But you have all the styling options for the theme, typography, so you can change the, the, the text. I would suggest that you use at least 14 point. 14 pixels rather, and then navigation, bump that up to 16, and your post made meta, um, put that up to 14 as well, and this will give you a much better readability on your website, easier for people to navigate it, notice, the, uh, notice everything gets a, a little bit bigger on the, on the, uh, the, the pages and everything, and uh, and what we have to do is we actually have to enable it. So let me enable it first. It, it was starting to put it in. So there we go. So now we enable it, and here we are. We got a little bit bigger uh, text. Everything's a little easier to read. You can change the font um, and all that kind of stuff real easy. It's it's very simple. Um, but that, that is what I would do on that. And then on post entry, it actually jumped that up to 16 also. Save that again. And the reason why is you want people to be able to read your website without having to squint. <laughs> so get a little bit bigger text. See, it makes it a little easier uh, for, be able, for people to uh, navigate your website and everything. You have footer areas down here. You can put different widgets down here. Um, and so there's all kinds of different things that you can do. But with a little bit of work, you know, you can have a website that looks like this in a matter of, you know, a few hours. And then as you add more content and develop it, uh, you know, after a while, you have a, a very robust uh, website. Uh, just looking at our website here, if you notice, you know, we have a PR rating of uh, a page rank of four uh, for Google. And then our traffic is uh, going through the roof because the system is going viral at this point. 
and it's it's pretty evident. I mean, look at all of our users that have just recently been active on the website, and it continues to grow and develop as we as we move forward. So, um, with that, I think that's majority of the things to go out to go over. There are some layout options. You can change the sidebars, which side they are on. Again, you can do full page layout and stuff like that as well. You can um, create portfolio pages for uh, images. Uh, you can set how you want your images to be resized. Uh, this is this is good here. You want to enable a custom footer. Uh, otherwise, it'll it'll show a you know powered by Woo themes. So you can go ahead and change that right here and select it, and then put whatever text in there that you'd like. You can put one on the left hand side too. You can change that. And that's the the footer area down here at the bottom. So it changes changes all that right there, and makes it really easy. Um, if you want to turn off this part down here, that's the uh, link. You can turn that off in your WP MLM settings and uh, remove that from the footer. Um, if you leave it on and you have a ClickBank uh, account, it will allow you to earn a 50% commission on all sales that you generate through your link. So that's a that's a nice little bonus for you. And then uh, I think that is pretty much it. So with that said, you, as you can see here, you can build a recruiting site in record time and have a beautiful looking website with really no design experience. Uh, no coding experience uh, necessary, and you can develop a system that, because it uses uh, BuddyPress integration, it allows your, your members to interact with each other and uh, post activity. Um, you can have groups, you can have forums, and there's, uh, there's 18 pages, I think, of BuddyPress uh, uh, plugins available if you go to WordPress uh, through your, your back office. So. For instance, if you want to add additional functionality, you can you can go in and um, do that because, like, if you look here at my site, I've got a lot more functionality added in to my uh, BuddyPress installation. Uh, you got profile, you got messages, friends, groups, forums, album settings. Um, you know, people can manage their account back here. They can upload photos and images um, and uh, videos rather and uh, links and stuff like that. Everything is manageable. I have a flagging system to flag uh, comments that people are making uh, if they're inappropriate and that kind of stuff. So there's there's really just a lot of options that you can use. Uh, to get there to, to add additional functionality, you just go into install um, or add new plugins right here. And just very simply just type in BuddyPress. And it'll pull up all the different uh, plugins that are available for BuddyPress. And like I said, there's 18 pages of BuddyPress plugins that do all kinds of different uh, additional functionality to the uh, to the to the website. You can use uh, any plugin that you want to use with this system, as long as it does not change the structure of how a user registers on the website, other than adding to the uh, the registration form. You know, if it if it changes the process as far as sending them to a completely different um, system to register, um, then they will not be added into your matrix through the system. But um, I haven't found one personally that changes that, so you shouldn't have any problems. Um, but if you do, uh, open up a support ticket with, uh, with us through our website, and we will help you to address that and to find a solution to get around it. Um, again, um, very easy to build your website using this, uh, using this template, and in just a matter of hours, and a few days of uh, developing content, you can have a very robust uh, system to recruit uh, your team for your opportunity. I want to thank you for taking the time to look at this video. Uh, please check out the other videos on how to do setup of your of your uh, back office and how to uh, and how to uh, how to also set up your uh, plugin and, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that way, it should answer about ninety nine percent of all questions. All right, thank you, and have a great day.